profit minimum average cost oh average cost is going to be a pain in rear I think yes it is this says in exercise of 17 through 22 you are given the price P of Q at which Q units of a particular commodity can be sold uh, and the total cost C of Q of producing the Q units in each case a Find the revenue, R of Q, uh, the profit function, P of Q, and this is what we need to talk about right here, is we have not done anything with marginal. Marginal revenue, R prime of Q, marginal cost, C prime of Q. Don't worry about sketching the graphs. You can do that with your calculator. Uh, you put everybody on the same coordinate axis you can do that with your calculator that's easy enough to do uh, and determine the level of production Q where P of Q is maximized well here's part of the problem this guy is price this guy is cost so that if I wanted to get revenue what would revenue be no that's price minus that's not going to work what's revenue sales, sales times sales times cost minus price no Revenue if I were going to, how would I figure out what my revenue is? Amount of money made over time. Okay, and how would I figure that out? Multiply revenue by time, or divide. No. All I have is the price of an object. I'm trying to find revenue. Units sold, right? Units sold times the price, the price. price of the unit, right? right that's gross revenue now if I want to do profit, I want to do profit profit is revenue, revenue minus cost, cost. Mm -hmm. so if I want to do revenue revenue is going to be the price of a unit times the quantity Right, that's that, but this is gross revenue. So we would say that R of X equals the quantity that I sell times the price. No. Let me get my white tape on first. Oh, I'm going to see you get to see my white tape anyway. <laughs> Look at that. So that R of X, the amount of money I'm going to make, gross profit or gross income, is 710Q minus 1.1Q cubed. I'll move that up. That'll help some. The, num the quantity that I sold, because that's what Q is, Q is quantity, times the price. So that's my revenue. So off of that object, that's the max amount of money that I can bring in. Now what does it want me to do with that? And the profit function, so this is revenue, and the profit function, P of Q. So this is revenue. Now I need to go after profit. So what's profit? Revenue, revenue minus cost. Do I have the revenue function? Yes. So profit 
is going to be revenue minus cost which is 710Q minus 1.1Q cubed minus cost which is 2Q cubed minus 23Q squared plus 90.7Q plus 151. And this whole thing is subtracted off. Now, why did I need to be careful about putting parentheses in? Because hmm? I'm going to have to distribute the negative, right? So this is going to be 710Q minus 1.1Q cubed minus 2Q cubed plus 23Q squared minus 90.7Q minus 151. So what do I have? I have a minus 1.1Q cubed and a minus 2 point, uh, minus 2 cubed, 2 cubed is a minus 3.1Q cubed. That takes care of the cubes. There are no additional Q squareds. I do have a Q. So I've got a minus, oh, that makes knife nice, uh, 91.8Q, whoops, I'm sorry. Um, no, that's going to be too big a number for me. So 710. <laughs> what is it? Can I trust you? Yeah. OK. So that's now my profit function. Yes, it would be. Thank you. See, I couldn't trust you after all. And then it says, okay, now I have the profit function, I have the revenue function. That's part A. Ha! Then it says, find the marginal revenue. Now, you're going to hear in economics the word marginal all, all the time. Uh, marginal cost marginal and what they'll say all the time is that marginal means it is the slope of the so when the word marginal is used is the slope of the whatever curve that is or graph, slope, slope, which means anytime they say the word marginal, what's marginal mean to us? Marginal, slope, slope, F prime, derivative. So when you're talking about the marginal cost, it is the slope of the cost curve, or it's the derivative of the, of the cost curve. If they say marginal revenue, it is the derivative of the revenue curve, or the revenue function. So the word marginal is going to be derivative. Now, when I took economics, everything that we did in economics basically ended up being straight lines. So the only thing that we would deal with was the slope of y equals mx <coughs> plus b, was m, so it didn't have any meaning. With some calculus behind you, and I had a, an economics instructor who was very excited. I was a junior in mathematics by the time I took uh, my economics uh, class, one of my economics classes at uh, ASU at the time. And he was so excited because when you got a junior in mathematics, you have a lot of mathematical. He kept bringing these problems in to show me because he couldn't do them with the rest of the class, but he knew I understood the mathematics behind it. 
said, oh boy, I can show her this. I'm thinking, I just I mean, I'm just taking a course for credit. <laughs> we don't need to get too excited here. <laughs> But he was just excited that somebody could understand all this, you know, and actually could take it a little bit further uh, at, that, at that point in time. I loved economics. I really did. But uh, not enough to get a degree in it. So I took three economics classes. I liked political science, too. And I took several of those. So then it says, we want to find the marginal, and notice it says R of Q, and the marginal cost, C of Q, and I'm going to sketch them, which we're not going to do. So if I'm going to find the marginal, revenue, marginal revenue is I take the revenue curve, And it's our prime of x. And that's just 3.3 q squared. And then it says find the marginal cost. And that's just the derivative of the cost curve. One fifty one, so that C prime of Q equals six Q squared minus uh, 46Q plus, uh, oops, 90.79. Uh, 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 and so you might ask yourself, uh, self, now oh, by the way, you, you, you know, hopefully I did give you an extra page. Uh, self, uh, what in the heck does that mean? What this does is give me a forward look. <coughs> this should be a Q, I'm sorry. They should match. If I was doing X, it would be zero. <coughs> it gives me a forward look. That says, that would say, that would give me an idea of if I'm selling 1,000 units to 2,000 units, essentially, what what additional revenue is it going to pay me is to sell that extra a thousand units because that's a slope right slope says for every additional so many units over it goes up or down so many units so if i'm looking at our prime as being the slope of the curve that would say if i were going from one thousand to two thousand units I would look at the slope of the line at 1,000 units. And that would tell me, if I go over 1,000, essentially, is my revenue going to increase or decrease? You would hope it would increase. And by how much? It's kind of a seat of the pants estimate. So that's what marginal does for you. 